Good morning, yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Tahir. Thank you very much for the warm welcome. Today we are learning adding integers. Okay? We will be learning how to add integers. And I need all your cooperation. First of all, write down the learning objectives. What are we learning today? That's the first question we need to ask ourselves. What are we learning? Adding integers. We are adding integers. So at the end of this lesson, I want everybody to be able to use different methods to add integers. Those methods are algebraic type, number line, and absolute value. I will go through this, and hopefully by the end of the lesson, everybody will understand it. But let me start with this question. What is integer? How many of you know or hear about what are integers? Who can tell me? What is integer? Yes. Integers, let me let me let me explain this to you. Integers are numbers which include all the positive numbers and the negative numbers and also the zero. All those numbers are whole numbers. Right? So they include the negative numbers, they include the zero, and they include every number. So any number which comes under all these lines is called integers. Yeah? So just quickly write down what are integers. So write down, integers are, so just write down, integers, are all the whole numbers. The whole numbers. When I say whole numbers, they don't include fractions, they don't include decimal. Whole numbers, so this will include, including negative numbers. So, including negative numbers. And zero. So the zero also is an uh, integer. So today we are learning how do we add or subtract integers. So the first one we're going to start with is how do we add integers with the same sign? So you know some numbers will have negative, some numbers will have positive. But also you have to remember the sign of the number will be always on the left hand side of the number. Like for example, if I have negative 5, that number is a negative. But if I just write down 5, then that is a positive. You understand? Usually, especially when the number is at the beginning of the uh, uh, numbers, we don't write down the sign. So if I give you negative 5, and I say to you plus negative 2, so at the moment, we are adding two numbers with the same sign. What would we do? What would the answer be? Who can think of that? Go ahead. Negative three. It would be negative three. Anyone oh, agree yes. with that? No. Yes. Mister, I think what you have to do is yes. plus five by two, and then the answer you get, you minus it. Right. So this is what we'll do. Go around here, please. So this is what we will do. If the two numbers, if both of them are negative, then what you have to do is, you have to add them, but the answer will carry the negative. In another word, the answer will be 5 plus 2, but it will be minus 7. So the answer will be negative 7. Do you understand that? You might be thinking, how did that work? So let's, let me just explain that. We can use the number line to understand it. So, Imagine we are starting from where? Negative 5. So here, where is the negative 5? This is negative 5, right? We started from negative 5. We are taking away how much? 2. 2. So when we are negative, when we are taking or minus in, we need to move this way because all the numbers here are negative. All the numbers are moving towards positive. So when we are taking away number, we need to move this way. So we have negative 2. So, 
negative 5, negative 2, which way should we move to? Move this way. So let's count twice. Let's see 2. 1, 2. What number is that? So that's negative 7. Do you see how our, our answer becomes negative 7? Yes. Yes? Okay. So this is what you need to remember. If two numbers are both negative, you add them, but the answer will carry the negative. Also, what you have to also remember is if you see a negative and a positive next to each other, or there's a bracket between them, they will all change into what? Negative. Because the negative is more powerful than the positive. Okay? So, can you now try to do this for me? If I give you a negative five, 7 and I say plus negative 3, who can work this out for me? Yes, go ahead. It will be negative 10 because we need to add them and we need to say their answer is negative because both of them are negative. All right? So let's do that. So because both of them are negative, we add them first, and then the answer will carry negative. So the answer will be negative? 10. 10. You guys get that? Yes. Yes. Any more question? Yeah, do we also have to do the comeback? OK. We will, we will come to that. If the, well, if the numbers have got the different signs, I will come to that. So at the moment, I'm doing if the numbers have got the same sign. So, yes, if, if, if both of them are, are negative, then you have to add them. Now, who can answer this question for me? If I now have negative 21, negative 11, who can work this out for me? So you have negative 21, negative 11. What will the answer be? Go ahead. Negative 32, she's right. Because all you have to do is add them. So if you add 21 and 11, they will give you 23. And then, 20, sorry, 22, right? 32. 32, sorry. I beg your pardon. 32, but because both of them are negative, the answer will be negative. Can you all remember that? Okay, if you cannot put this into your head, then the number line helps you to work this out. Go ahead. Okay, remember, if I have a plus and minus next to each other, so for example, I have negative, I have positive and negative to each other, next to each other. So what, both of them will catch them into negative. Remember what I said at the beginning? If, if you see positive and negative to each other, they will cancel into negative. Because the negative is more powerful. Okay? Yes, go ahead. Mr. Can I like do, like I put the numbers and then I remove the minus and then I get the answer and then put the minus again? Yeah, first of all, add them together. Yeah, then just the plus, the And then the answer will carry the minus. So this is what I think. Okay, shall we write down that so you don't forget? Yes. Okay, so write down that. To add to negative numbers, just write down, yes. To, to add two negative numbers, just write down with me. Just write as I say. To add two negative numbers, write down. You have to add them two numbers first. The answer will be negative as well. Yes. Okay. When you are adding two negative numbers, you have to add two negative numbers, you have to? You have to add the numbers first. It's working? Yes. Right. You have to add the two numbers first, and then the answer will carry negative. Okay? Huh? Okay. If you are adding two negative numbers, you add the two numbers, and then the answer will carry the negative. For example, now if we have negative 6, negative 8, what will the answer be? Go ahead. Negative 14. Negative 14, because I need to add them, and then they will carry the negative. 
So the answer would be negative 14. Yes? Mister, if the equation is minus or plus, mm -hmm. then how we get the answer? We minus it? We minus, we, if it's minus, minus, then we minus both of them. We add them. Okay. If both of them are minus, minus. Now, this is one part of them are negative. But what happens if one part of them are positive? So who can give me, if I have now, uh, 8 plus 2, what would the answer be? Yes. 10. 10, normal. Because one part of them are positive, all you have to do is add them. And the answer would just be positive. OK? Good. If we have minus 21, no plus. We have plus. Okay, I'm coming to that. At the moment, I'm doing one part of them have with the same sign. They are both either plus or minus. So you have to understand this one first. If both of them are minus, you add them and the answer will become minus. Okay? If both of them are plus, the answer you add them usually, but the answer will be minus. Yes, go ahead. Okay, the brackets, what well, two brackets are different, so you have plus and minus, the minus is more powerful. So this will just change into minus, the plus will disappear. So this just becomes minus. So every time you see plus and minus next to each other, the minus will take over. So your question just becomes minus 5 minus 2. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so now you all understand how to add integers when they have the same when they have the same sign. Is everybody happy with that? Yeah, okay, if you are happy with that, can you answer those couple of questions for me now, please? If I have now negative negative five, negative eighteen. I want you to answer this, please. Negative twenty-five, negative. 23. Answer those two questions for me, please. Mister, I have a question. Go ahead. Mister, if you do negative, uh, if it's the sign, uh, the negative, mm -hmm. and the negative, you plus? Yes, you plus the two numbers, but the answer will carry negative. That's what I say here. So here, we add 6 and 8, that will give us 14, but the rule is because both of them are negative, the answer will also be negative. Mr. That's what we just write down. Mr. Yes, go ahead. Mr. If it is negative or positive. I'm coming to that. Mr. At the moment, I'm only doing when both of them are the same sign. Mr. Uh, why when you do minus, uh, minus 6, minus 8, with minus 14? How? It's because minus. this is the rule I think, yeah, which is what we just write down. If you have two negatives, you add the two numbers. How do you add it? It's minus. Yes. This is the rule. You add it. Why? Why do you ask me that? So look, you are right. Good question. Why are we adding them? Let's say I have minus. I have minus two minus four. In your head, how much this should give you? Uh, zero point two for me. Well, if not, it should give you minus six because we say two plus four. If six and both of them are minus, so the answer will be minus. Now, we need a proof of that. Let's use the, the number line. Okay? So if we, if we use the number line, just have a look at this, please. If we use the number line, where are we starting from? We started from? Two. Negative two. And because we are minus in another form, which way should we count? Should we count this way or this way? We count this way, right? So let's count this way. So how will that? I'm just explaining how we get this answer. So let's count four. So we go one, two, three, four. We end up what? Negative six. This is a proof. This answer is correct. You understand? So to check the number always, it's useful to check the the, um, uh, the number line. But sometimes you have big numbers and you cannot always draw the number line. So what do you have to remember? The rule I just wrote it down for you. And what is the rule? If you have two negative numbers, if you are adding two negative numbers, what happens? You add the two numbers, but the answer will be negative. Don't forget that. 
Go ahead. Uh, what happened when you put brackets? Why you put brackets? Why you put brackets? Okay. Good question. Sometimes we put the brackets so that you have to understand the numbers will have brackets. So if one of them is minus and the other one is plus, we have brackets. Okay? But don't be worried about the brackets because negative and positive will always become negative. Yes? So Mr. Five Okay, let's let's do those answers. What if negative five, negative eighteen? Yes? Negative twenty? Negative twenty-three. So we have negative twenty-three here. What about here? What if negative twenty-five? Negative forty-eight. What did you do? You add that? And then the answer will carry. So negative forty-eight. Are you are you all happy with that first? Yes. Good. Okay. Let's have one more question here. Yes, yes. Uh, we're at this. Yes. I'm coming to that. Oh, two plus. I already answered. If the number is below the number plus, you just add that. No, no difference. What if there is like five plus uh, minus two? Oh. Okay. Let's find out that five plus. So they have. Plus five. Yeah. Plus five minus two. Okay, I'll come into that. Now there will be different, different. Uh, uh, this is si same sign. Now what happen when they are different sign? Let's start that. No, no, let's just start that now. Yeah. Okay. So we done the first one. Adding integers with the same sign. Can we now write down adding integers? This is number two now. Yeah. Write down a little mini title which says adding integers, adding integers with a different sign. With a different sign. So what do we do when they are different? This is important. So let's use, let's use an example. If I have minus 5 plus 2, what will the answer be? Anyone? What will the answer be? Minus 5 plus 2. Yes. Minus 3? It will be minus 3. Good answer. Be minus 3. Why will it be minus 3? Because the big number is with the negative. If the big number is with the negative, the answer, you still take them away, but the answer will always be negative. negative. On one condition, the big number have to carry the negative. So Let's use another example. Yeah, I'm coming to that. If I have now 8 minus 12, what would the be answer? Think about it. Think about what I just said. If the big number is the negative, you still take them away, but the answer will be negative. Yes. Minus 12, you mean 8 minus minus? Plus? Yes. Uh, 4 uh, minus 4? It will be minus 4. 4, because you take them away still, but the answer will still be minus 4. Are you with me? How will it be minus 4? How will it be minus 4? What if 2 are you take away 8? 4. 4. But which, which, which number is carrying the negative? The two alif. So which one is bigger? The two alif. The two alif. So this is the rule. If the big number is carrying the negative, what happens? Your minus. The answer will be negative. You still have to take them away. What's the small number? Yeah, I'm coming to that. So let's do if, if the big the small number is carrying the negative. So now, if you have minus four plus eight, let's say, who will give you the answer to this? Yes. It will, it will be four. It will just be four. Because the small number is carrying the negative now. What? So the answer will just be four. I don't understand. Why is it four? Why is it four? Because the small number, which is small, eight or four? four, four. So the small number is carrying the negative. If the small number is carrying the negative, the answer becomes positive. And we can also use the number line to prove that. So let's say minus four, we are here. How much we count? Plus, we have to move this way, right? So let's count. Let's count um, from here eight. 
So if we count k here, this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Where do we end up? 4. Four. So this proof is to us we are correct. Are you with me, girls? Yes. Good. So let's do another example. Can you all do this for me now? If I have Okay, if we have minus 6 plus 12, and also if we have minus 2 plus 10, and if we have minus 13 plus 24. This three questions answer for me, please. Is 6 uh, minus 6 plus 12 equals 6? You, you take them away, but if the small number is carrying the negative, then it will just be positive. But if the big number is carrying the negative, the answer will become negative. So is it 6? Yeah, it will just be 6 because the small number is carrying the negative. So the answer is 6? Yeah, the answer will be 6. You done it? Yes, yes go ahead. You done? Uh, yes, what if the answer is just 0? If the answer is 0, you just put 0. Okay. So now, this one is all of them are the small numbers. So the answer will just be positive. But on this side, I'm going to give you a different slightly one. So if I have now, if I have minus 7 plus 2, what will the answer be here? If I have minus 16 plus 3, what will the answer be? If I have minus 19 plus 4, what will the answer be? Okay? Minus 20 plus 3. What will the answer be? Just that I did this. Can I tell the answer? Uh, I want you to write down your book. And then we will, we will, we will see how many of you get it right. Go ahead. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, let's just, you done all this? No, this one no. Okay, let's do this. Right. Okay, if you put the, if you, have you all got those answers? No. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to answer them. Okay, remember what I say. If the small number is carrying the negative, the answer will be positive. So here we have, this is same as 2 out of 6. What is this? It's minus 2 plus 10 equals minus 8. So this will just be 6, right? How? How? Because it's same as 12 minus 6, 12 minus 6 will give you what? It will just give you 6. That is the same as that one. Because the small number is carrying the negative. How can I answer minus 2 plus 10? Mr. Can I answer the other one? Which one? Minus 2 plus 10. How do I do? Minus 2 plus 10 is the same as 10 minus 2. Mr. Can I answer What is 10 minus 2? 8. 8? So this will be 8. Can I always do that? Like yes, you can, you can switch them, but remember, because the small number is carrying the negative, the answer will be positive. If it was the other way around, and the small number, the big number is carrying the negative, the answer will be negative. Go ahead. Uh, the last question is like, in the side, um, it's, the, the round this line is negative, right? Yeah, the big number is the negative. So, so the answer will become negative. So, Mr. Bissan, so the answer is the minus 2 plus 10 is 8? Yeah, so this will be 8. Mm -hmm. so Mr. Because, because this is the same as 8 takeaway. Eight, 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 eight. So the answer has to be uh, uh, positive because it's minus 2, not minus 10? Yes, because the answer is positive because the smaller number, the 2 is smaller than the 8. If this was the other way around and I have 10, my, I have minus 10, just imagine that. If I have minus 10 plus 2, what will my answer be? 8. No, because the, it will be minus 8 because the big number is carrying the negative. So this will be minus 8. Are you with me? Yes? Right, okay. Yes. Yes. Mr. I'm done, can I tell you? Alright, are we done those questions? Yes. Okay, let's, let's find out the answers. Uh -huh. Minus 13 plus 24 is 11. Minus 13 plus 24 is? 11. 11. 
So you just take away normally so that will be plus 11, yes. And remember, when we have a negative, then the number is a negative, we have to write down the negative. But when the answer is positive, we don't have to write down positive. We don't have to take positive or plus 2 and yeah? Are you with me, girl? I'm trying to minus 13 plus 24. Minus 13 plus 24. Which number is bigger? 24. Yes, so the small number have got the negative. So the answer will be plus. But there's no plus, there's just nothing. No, this is 24 minus 13. Same as 24 minus 13, which will be 11. This one minus 7. Plus okay, three. what would this answer be? Minus 7 minus plus five. 2. Minus 5. Would be minus 5. Negative 5. Because there would be negative 5. Because the big number is 7. So here, what do we have? Negative. Negative 5. Are you with me, girls? Yes. Good. What will. Okay, I don't want anybody to just answer this. I want people to put their hand up. No, I want people to, have to put their hand up. Who will give me the answer to this? Just put your hand up, please. Without saying anything. One, I just want to see how many hands are up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alia, what will the answer be here? Negative 13. Well done, Alia, because the big number is with the negative, so the answer will be negative 13. Right. Rim, what will the answer be here? Negative 15, is she right? Yes. Yes, because the big number is the negative, so we have negative 15. Well then, next one, who can answer this question for me? Yes, go ahead. This will be negative 17 because the big number is the negative. Do you can understand this? Yes. So we have a negative 17. Any more questions? Yes, go ahead. So if the big number is negative, then you do minus? Exactly. You always have to minus. If it's two plus, then you add them. But if one of them is minus and the big number is the minus, oh. you take away, but the answer will carry the negative. Uh, what if it's plus, huh? first, plus 20 minus 3? Very good question. Plus 20. Say again, plus 20. Minus, minus what? 3. Minus 3. Easy. What is 20 minus 3? 17. No, plus 20. Uh, plus 20. Negative 17. You mean negative 20 plus 3? No, no, no. Negative 20 minus 3. Negative yes. 20. So this plus, we don't usually run on the plus. No. But this, so the answer will just be 17. Why is it plus? You say minus, right? Oh. Mr. Is that your question? Wait, I just realized. Yeah. You just realized now. Mr. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Mr. Because 20 minus 3 is just 17. But Minus 20, minus 20, plus 3 is how much? Minus 17. Minus 17. Now you get in it, right? It's coming back now. Yes, Mr. Simon. Yes, hold on one second. Any more questions? Mr. Like, like, uh, if it's like positive and positive, plus, like uh, plus? I already mentioned that. If they are the same, if it's minus and minus, both of them are minus, you add them. But then, and, but then you carry the negative with them. But it's, it's positive, positive. Positive, positive? It's positive. You just put no. You have positive and plus are the same. If I say to you, plus four, plus five, what would that be? It's just nine. Right? Without plus? Without. You don't have to write down the plus all the time. Okay? You don't have to write down, especially if it's on the left hand side. We know if a number don't have a sign on the left hand side, that's plus. Are you with me? Yes. Okay? So you have to understand this is plus 4, plus 5. Right? We only need to write down if this is negative. What will this mean now? What if minus 4, plus 5? Minus 9. Look, which, which one is smaller? The 4. The 4. So the 4 is carrying the money. So you have to take them away. What if? Five minus four. Nine. Five minus four? Uh, one, one. One? I thought it was. This is just one. Tell us. Mister, I don't understand why you did five minus four. It's four, minus four plus five. Yes. Minus four plus five is the same as five minus four. 
Those two are the thin. Are you with me, girls? Can, was there a way to do it without doing this, like minus 4 plus 5? Yes, this is the way. If you see minus 4 plus 5, just say to yourself, the small number is carrying the negative, so the answer will be positive. But if it's the other way around, and the plus, and if you have this, what is 4 minus 5? Uh, then it becomes my one. one. Yes. Are you with me, girls? Yes. All right. So we're gonna start the class work. I want everybody to do this class work. And remember, this is grading. But before I give you the class work, do you guys understand the lesson? Yes. Are you happy with it? Yes. I'm just gonna just quickly tell you the algebra. We will come to that at the end. But uh, the last thing I need to explain to you is uh, the absolute value. This is new to you, so I'm gonna have a whole new lesson to explain what is absolute value. But absolute value is just a distance. You understand? Yeah. It's a distance between a number and a zero. So for example, if I give you, this is how we write absolute value. We write down two lines. So if I take minus five here, this is how I write absolute value. Girls, can you see that? Yes. So what is the absolute value of, my, of minus five? No, it's 5. It's just equal to 5. How? Because the question is asking you what is the distance between minus 5 and 0. So it's 5. Okay? So that's what it is. But if I give you what is the absolute value of 5, will also be 5. What's the distance between 5 and 0? That will also be 5. Okay? So we will come to that in another lesson, but I hope you all understand this. Um, is everybody happy? Yes! Will you be able to do the question if it's in the classwork? Yes! Then, okay, before we finish, can you all say subscribe, like, and comment? Subscribe, like, and comment! Yes, thank you very much. Thank you.